My name is Infancy Salister. I will be pursuing eighth semester in Mechanical Engineer in Music College of Engineering. Let me introduce you my major project, Five Axis 3D Printer. But before we get into Five Axis 3D Printer, let me explain you the motions of the axis of 3D printer. To begin with the X axis, this is the extruder where the filament melts and then produces the product. So moving to the X axis, so the extruder moves along the X axis. This is how this has been coded. The Y axis where the print bed, this is the print bed where the products have been printed up. This gets heated up. Print beds usually gets heated up to uh, 60 degree uh, Celsius, wherein the extruder gets heated up to 200 degrees Celsius. Z axis, the movement of Z axis forward, backward. So these are the major three axes of a 3D printer. Additional to this, but why 3D printer is, you know, uh, I'm overcoming 3D printer with 5 axis 3D printer is. For uh, products such as angular projection, tapering, and circular curved features is not possible in a 3D printer. What happens in 5 axis 3D printer is, here we have a prototype of the 5 axis 3D printer, wherein this is going to be, you know, the print bed of the 3D printer is going to be replaced with this kind of a prototype, wherein the bed moves along the y axis in the same axis and to print the project product with a projection, example, I take you an example of this type. So this is a projection. Here, if you, you know, print this part in a 3D printer, you will have to print a support structure for this. And then this will be printed. Later on, the support structure has to be removed. What happens in 5 axis 3D printer is this will be placed here and this will be rotated. When you rotate, this will be tilted, you get a 90 degree projection. Again, this has been printed. Wherein there is no support structure present. This is the prototype of a 5 axis 3D printer which we are in process of developing. 